All right, welcome back into Enshrouded. This is going to be a little small tutorial to show you some tricks for your Halloween contest build that's due this month. It's due on the 18th, so you have 16 days left to work on it. And I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that I have used in mine. We are standing in my uh, contest build at this moment. I'm going to show you how to do these chains at an angle. I mean, anybody can figure out how to do the chains to begin with, but I'm going to show you how to do them at an angle. It's a little difficult, so we'll show you that. I made a quote door, that's air quotes there, uh, for the prison because I don't know why we don't have doors for our prison fencing. The doors are in the game in the prisons, and we still don't have them yet. <clears throat> I'm keen. I, I will cut out from a different video where I showed you how to build this because I'm not going to go through and build it a third time and then this one which I am so pleased with looks like like some straw bedding in there and the excess heads from the the denizens that we cut off after we killed them and chopped them up to make this green goo in this nasty machine you know and a few of them that have decayed so much we've made lights out of them I think that turned out really, really well. It's hard to do, but we'll show you how to do that as well. So I've already set up over here. We've got our little prison cell that, of course, has no door. And then we've got a section here. I'm going to do this one first because the sun is on our side. So what we want, you're going to want the bathtub, right? Just a bathtub. And pay attention to where it sits on the wall. I'll give you a hint. It's one block up is what you want. So we're going to set that aside. And we're going to take our tool and we're going to chunk out some some space here we actually want two blocks in depth so we're just going to take that whole much now obviously we'll be bringing that back but for right now we'll do that and then what you want is you want a stool this part's the hard part you got to get it to where you're placing the head the plaque of the head onto the stool against the stool and it didn't seem to matter which side I had forward so that the head is forward but not the thing so it's it's a little tricky getting it just right that might be good let's find out so then we want to plant the head and we want the head to look like it's in the box pretty well so we'll kind of come down like maybe like that I think that's going to do it. I think it is. We might have to go back just a little bit. That's it. There you go. So now you have just the head sticking out. But that's not the only one I want to do. The This next one's a little harder just because of... He's a little bit bigger of a head. We're going to have to go all the way to this edge. Are we going to have to go to the bottom? I think we're going to have to go all the way to the bottom too. The fell brute is a much bigger head, so it's not... I shouldn't say much better. That's not accurate. It is a bigger head. Let's try that. Unfortunately, I did try... That's a little too far back. I did try to place these against... Um, no, that's not too far back. That's exactly what I want. All right, so now we got those. Now we need this. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can do this in here now, like this, or you can go ahead and place your blocks first of the next material that we need. So now it looks like we have some heads in there. Next thing we want to do, actually, let's do some of this first. So you want VUCA nesting material. Come over here to the small size. We're going to come down to VUCA nesting material. So this part's really difficult to do because you have to get it against the edge or you have to get it in here like this. And it's and it's just it's just really, really difficult to do. You're trying to make it look like there's uh, bedding material in there. Sometimes you can do it like this too. There you go. So you get the idea. Now it looks like there's a little bit of bedding material in there. Like 
there would, I shouldn't say bedding material, a little bit of straw in there because you're going to be tossing heads in there, right? You don't want their, their, their blood and guts going everywhere. And then we want maybe one or two of these. Just do, just do one. Like that. So you get the idea. Now we have this trough or whatever uh, where we have head, leftover heads from the uh, bad guys that we've done awful things to or whichever, however you want to say it. Alright, I've reset the day and now we're going to work on this. So the problem is none of the doors work on this. The doors are all either too short or too tall or too wide. They just they don't work for this opening and until they decide oh hey our oversight we forgot to give you prison doors we have to make our own so you can either just fence the whole thing in and just not have a door which is fair or you can do it this way so we're gonna we're gonna look at the outside so it's this way like this no it's this way what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it kind of open but you can't stack it directly on top of each other because then it'll go that high. So you actually need to stack it up halfway of this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this where I want it because I need the reference. So now we go back to this and what we're going to do is we're going to set it directly over it and I want two blocks high. We're going to get a couple of those in a zigzag pattern. so that we have a base to actually set our fence on. So now I want to pick the fence up. I'm going to change back to our fence, but this time, when we set it up against this, let's make sure that's how we want it. Not quite. Let's change. Grab that again. All right, let's make sure it actually right there. That I like. Okay, so that's good right there. So now we got to take this. And we're going to place this fence and we're going to cinch it right over as close to pixel perfect as we can get it. Like that. So now we have a door. Yes, it's permanently open or permanently shut or however you decide you want to do it. But it does give us an option for some kind of a door before... Keen realizes their oversight that they forgot to give us uh, doors for the prison cells. Now, next thing we're going to work on is this. So, pretty much everybody by now knows you can do that and you can have a chain in your space. Now, it can't go over your boundary. My boundary is right there. So, you got to have it like this. But, to get it to angle is the hard part. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come to here. I'm going to chunk out four pieces. Just like that. So I've got two, uh, four high or two high in depth. Not that. I want this, and I want to move over to this and go to stone. So the whole top's going to be stone. You could do this with dirt as well. Then to get an angle, you want the back to be all the way down, so that it angles. How to explain this? So that it angles down towards which is the opposite it's gonna make like an a-frame so if you imagine this angles this way your chains gonna angle this way and that's how you can direct where it goes if I put it in the right spot and I don't think I got it in the right spot because I'm too close to the edge there you go so that was a very subtle oh it went almost backwards a little bit and you can play around with it if you can steepen the angle a little bit. You can make these chains do all kinds of cool stuff with it. 
All right, now I'll cut to the part where I show you how to build that cool machine with the uh, Cyclops head. All right, so first thing I want to do is here in the center of the wall, let's pretend this is my wall, I'm going to place down four of a block. What I need to do is I need to get this device. This is, let's look in here, this is your ectoplasm press. But I'm going to do something here. I need to get this up here to give me a sight line. So I want to have this centered, get it where I'm going to be putting it, and I'm just going to move it back because I'm not actually burying it in the wall. I just need a place marker because here's what I need to do is I need to get the tongue on the device, on the machine, to look like it's coming out of the mouth right between the teeth of the trophy. So it's kind of kind of difficult to get the placement just right. I think cuz I can't go all the way over. I think up a tad. I think that looks right. So we're going to try that. We're going to pick this guy back up. So I want this centered so you see the point down the below and it's coming down right on the center of those two pieces. And then I want to try to get this the same as the one I just did, which is kind of hard because if I follow the bottom jaw, then the eye looks too tall. If I follow the eye, then the jaw looks too too low. It's just kind of a <laughs> kind of an eyeballing kind of thing here. That's funny, eyeballing. Yeah, okay, I didn't mean that, but let's let's move on. All right, so we pick this guy up, and now we're gonna see how well we actually got this. And. So here's how I want to set this. I don't want this skull showing. I want his skull. But a little part of it is okay. I think the skull is too high. So I can have a little bit of it come through. Let's get up here so that I get a better. There you go. Kind of looks like a nose ring if I have just a touch of it come through. Like maybe right. I don't want so much that the eye, that it covers the eyeball. I definitely don't want that. I can dig that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works. So it looks like he's got a little bit of a nose ring. It's got the tongue that comes out. By the way, this is still usable. So you can come in here and you can craft your different things, even with this having a trophy head in its place, which this trophy gives you a plus one comfort. It's kind of crappy for uh, what you have to go through to get it. All right, but we're not finished yet because by itself, it isn't that cool and we are going to add some cool to it. So we're going to come in here. We're going to grab, not that. We're going to grab number four. We're going to come right up to this block, but I'm not going to go past the block. And I'm going to chunk an entire two block deep out of this. Here's where I get my number six brazier. And it doesn't matter if you turn this. It literally makes no difference. So look at the two corners of the, I don't know, stone lintel or whatever mantle that the bowl is sitting on and that's how how I want to put it. I want those two pieces coming right to the edge just like that right nice looks good so we're gonna bring this back out we're gonna hit Y and get rid of that now you could actually leave it like that because it does look pretty cool I think the bones work really well I think the round part looks really well and and you'd be fine right there now if you look real carefully there is fire coming out of this now where there was nothing before. But we're going to take it just a step further and kind of give it a little bit of a je ne sais quoi. So we're going to come out like this. Come on. I'm not going to do this corner. Now, whichever corner you do it on, where you do it on is completely up to you. But I'm going to leave it like that. We're going to call it number four here. Once again, I'm going to come back and use my wall as my camera canceller. I'm going to hold R. I'm going to turn this a little bit. I think that looks good. And all I want to do is I want to make sure these pointy feet part don't stick out. So when I hit or when I put one piece in there, I don't want those pieces to stick out, but I don't want it to cover the bowl either. So we're kind of like, kind of like there. So it's not hitting the bowl. And probably once I do this, yeah, I love it. That works great. Now, you can't really see what's going on here until I do this. So we need a roof on this bad boy. We'll go back to, uh, let's take X off. 
we'll go back to the same material we're using already. Once again, get my roof because, you know, eh, problems. All right. So now you can see why I do it this way. Otherwise, it's just a bowl. There's Nothing happens unless you have this lid. It's the same thing as a fireplace. That's literally what I'm doing here. Last step. I actually have to remove the ceiling to do the last step. And this is completely optional. P uh, do it if you choose to do it. Don't do it. It's completely up to you. This is what I did inside that hollow halls. I got in there. I chunked the ceiling up and then returned it. So basically, I'm just going to put skull candles in here. Fill as many of them up as I can, which is either three or four. It depends on how if it's being nice to you or not. Yeah, three works for me. Good enough. So we're going to come here. We're going to get rid of this bad boy, and then we're going to put our ceiling back. And there you go. So now the top even glows. The bottom glows. You've got some cool lights on the side. Obviously the one I did differently. And you get this really cool look. I don't know what you want to call this thing. The decimator. I don't know. And you can do it in one block thickness. So that's really cool. All of what you get. Still functional. All of what you get out of this. Just one small space. And then decorate it to your choice. Thanks for watching.